I want to. So this was 8, this was 6 times 3, 18. This one, is that right? F of 2 is going to be 8, right? Uh, so F of 3 is equal to 27. Okay, here we go, F of 4. I'll do it in blue. I got a brave soul. Can I do a friend to give me the F of 4, please? Put the volunteers here. F of 4. Madison, go. This Madison. Madison, go. Madison, go. F of 4 equals. So f of 3 plus 3 times 3. Good. And then plus 1. Awesome. Excellent. And if you notice, all we're doing is the numbers are just increasing by 1, right? Why is this one 4? Because, our, because it's x plus 1 here. So this number and this number are going to be the same. Like this is x plus 1 and that's x plus 1. f of 3 should have been 27. Plus 9 times 4 is 36. Plus 1. Oh, goodness. 60, what is that? Let me get you in my head. Somebody help me there. 64, is that right? Let's do the next two quick, so I want to do one last note here before we finish up. Are we okay on where that's coming from, most people? Okay, if you're saying no in your mind, okay, this is sort of a big part of this course is patterns here for this. Okay, so you have Yeah, Julia, question. Yeah. Okay, so from right here, just from right here, Aileen, for here, for here. Yeah. Just because it just says here, we're looking for whatever the value of f of 3 is. And we calculated up here that f of 3 is 27. Oh, okay. Right, so I'm just going to sub that back in there. See the question? You get the 3, 3, and the 4. Okay, so what happens is here, our equation here is f of x plus 1 is f of x plus this, right? So if x plus 1 is 4, that means that x is going to be 3, right? So 3x, 3 times 3, and then x plus 1 is 4. Yeah. Okay, good? So for f of 5 here, let's go in here. f of 5, I want to go to this quick. Uh, here, x is equal to 4, and x plus 1 is equal to 5. If that helps to do the substitution of the equation here. Okay, so f of 5 should be what? So maybe brave, be heroic, fast, and go. Yeah. Okay, this is getting to be a big number. Keep going, Madison. F of 4 is equal to? Oh, oh uh, 64. Yeah. Plus 12 times 5 is 60. I'll okay, we'll do one more, then we're done. Can I get a new volunteer? There's no reason to get today. Jesse, F of 6 is equal to what? Five is 125. 15 times 6 is 90 plus 1. That is 216. Is that right? Yeah. So compare that for me? Okay. Let's look at this pattern if we can. How uh, was it? 18, 27, 64, 125, 216. That's what the pattern actually is. Okay. Does anyone guess another way to get that pattern? How is 1827? 64, 125, 216. If you need more help, this is f of 1. This is f of 2. This is f of 3. This is f of 4. This is f of 5. And this is f of 6. This is not an easy visualization to get. Anyone see how 1 relates to 1, 2 relates to 8, 3 relates to 27, 4 relates to 64, 5 relates to 125, and 6 relates to 216? There is a pattern to it. So, yes. You know, well, of course, every number can sort of be divided by them. It's something a little bit more than that, okay? Yeah, uh, when it's divided by the x, obviously it's equal to 9. Okay, not always though, right? Not close though. <coughs> not good. I'm not even sure if this test um, is where, like, the f is 1 and it's very good. Yeah, not squared and squared again. What's it called? Not squared and squared, cubed, right? So if you take a look, one cubed is one. You need to write the other. 
two okay. cubed is eight, three cubed, four cubed, five cubed, six cubed. So that I think is sort of neat. We have an equation to make up two big sets of values. I gave you some homework for that, then I'm going to do a quick little fast note with no homework. Okay. Homework from last night should have been, or from tonight, whatever day this is, I'm almost done. Uh, it's going to be page 22. Number 267, 15, uh, 10, 12, 13, 15, 16, 16. Okay, um, just one thing I should just mention with homework is I'm going to hit pause here. Uh, there will be someone in this class.